Okay, today's video, we are going to talk about Google, Ad, Google Ads Advertiser Verification failed. Please resubmit documents, meaning this is a error code or reason why Google has came back to you. They've gotten to the point where they aren't asking nicely for a advertiser verification from you to advertise on Google Ads. They're forcing you to do it. You've attempted to do that advertiser verification and then it's failed. Your advertiser verification being failed happens way more than you probably realize already, which is the reason why I'm making this actual video right here. But there's a, you know, a clear path to you know, move, move forward from this, which I'm gonna give you in this video and so you don't have to worry, of course. So I'll, I'll go through what the main reasons are, why this actually comes up in the first place, why you're even having the trouble. And then after that, of course, I'll tell you what your options are to move forward, which it's pretty simple, what, what you need to do to move forward. Uh, that said, I've seen people try four, five, six plus times, try to submit their damn documents over and over again to Google and they still keep kicking it back saying advertiser verification failed and then not giving any answers which is very frustrating to people people don't have any problem with submitting the documents but then when you can't submit the documents and have it work and then not get any damn feedback that's what it's pissing people off frankly and which you probably are pissed as well watching this video especially if your ads are shut down and you're losing money every day that they're shut down this is the way of the world now with Google. They don't want you, if they want you to do something, they'll tell you you did it wrong and provide little to no information about you know, what to do, which if you're not a big boy advertiser, you're not gonna get any more information, uh, which is why you have, you know, thankfully, I run an ad agency, thankfully, uh, this is happening for us because that means people have to work with an agency that has an inside connection with Google to get information and actually move forward, which, you know, a lot of times that's what you're going to have to do, unfortunately. But anyway, I won't delay the, the content here anymore. So most of the time that you have this issue with the advertiser verification and then submitting the documents, the documents are not good enough for Google. It comes down to three main reasons here, okay? First, of, first reason of which is your ID is expired, okay? If your ID is expired, they're not going to take it. Bottom line, you need a current document. Of course, if you want to add to that, you need a government document. You can't submit like a school ID, anything like that. Second of all, second reason is your document is blurry or not readable. This is a bigger factor than you probably realize. If you're going to submit a document to them, it needs to be done on a flatbed scanner, okay? For a big for a full-size document if that's what you're submitting or it can be done on an iPhone taking a picture of that passport or driver's license but it better be uh, perpendicular with your phone so in other words straight on or at a right angle to your phone or you know you know direct here's your phone your ID must be perpendicular with it parallel yeah, I forgot my, my, my words here today. Parallel with the phone so that they're at the same angle from one another and that you're not taking it from too far of a distance. A lot of you guys are trying to take a picture and then there's a, bunch, a big gap around the ID. Dumb. Don't do that. Submit it as close to the thing as possible so the whole frame is taken up by the ID and that it's straight on parallel with the camera that you're taking it with. That gives you the greatest ability for the algorithm that's going to check this over to read the data on it which that's and I said algorithm that's literally what you're dealing with you're dealing with a computer here if it were a human it'd be a different story you wouldn't have to be so particular about this stuff but unfortunately that's what you're dealing with and you're also dealing with an automated system when things aren't going right of them telling you what you need to do which they bucket 
you know, everything into like two or three reasons, and, you, and those reasons don't even give you enough information to work from when it does get, your documents do get rejected, which you probably know already. So anyway, then the third reason why you get rejected, generally speaking, is a glitch. Going into what I was just saying about the automated system that Google has to read these documents you're submitting, the, you know, they can't read it. Um, but a lot of times, even if you submit the documents correctly, it's as good a document as you could submit, it still gets rejected, which is why I'm really making this video here today. And in that case, you need a human to look at the document to get to the other side of this. Unless you can, what you could obviously already do, if you didn't want to, um, if you want to, didn't want to go the route of reaching out to somebody who has contacts at Google for, on your behalf, like we do, you could actually submit another document. And maybe the, you have a better luck with the system recognizing that document. In other words, instead of just submitting your, your driver's license, why not submit your passport? And maybe you get by with that. So that's what I would suggest first, if you have the capability, because why reach out to a, a firm like ours to, to work this out? Because generally speaking, they're not going to be, it's not going to be free. We're not going to charge you. I won't charge you money if, if you reach out, give you some basic guidance, but most firms would. Anyway, so this system is automated. You need a human to review it if you have no other documents to submit. We have upper level support that can get you up and going quickly. If you're losing a thousand bucks a day because your ads are shut down, don't piss around anymore. Maybe I could do this or maybe I can do that. Just reach out to us and, and we'll fix it for you, bottom line. Um, we're not going to be able to fix it overnight uh, most of the time, but we'll be able to work with you at least. It's going to be fixed within the next seven days. Why? Because we're going to have to get you to get, you the, get us the right documents. Assuming that's done right, then we can get in contact with support. support still is a lot of times not going to give us the human response we need for a couple days then we got to figure you know fix that if you will and then we're up and going sometimes we can get a 24-hour response from google but um anyway don't want to give you false hope here either which is why you may want to submit your own documents uh first but if you have any issues you can't you know know what if you don't know what else to do and, or just you know three day turnaround time on getting up and going again is an option for you then just reach out to us I'd be more than happy to look at your situation and try to get you the right stuff going why to, to be frank about the situation potentially we could work together in the future if we can get your ads going I'm not expecting it but you know, of course I'm running a business here as well so if I'm gonna you know provide people the courtesy of using our contacts at Google to get back online we're doing it so that potentially that we might find our best client out of that, if you will. But we're not going to hard pitch you or anything like that. We're just going to get you up and going. Say, hey, you know, your ads, if you did this and this and this, you'd have better results. We can guarantee you this more sales before we charge a fee. Would you like us, would you like to potentially entertain that? And if your sales are plateaued where they're at right now, then it would make obviously perfect sense to work with us. So more than happy to... Uh, serve the public a little bit on the front end here, including yourself, if you want us to help you out in the way that I just described. So with that said though, that's, this isn't going to make me a long video here. I mean, it's not that complicated. You, it gave you your options of moving forward and that's it. So, but uh, I know it's frustrating dealing with Google today, uh, 2024. Every year it gets harder and harder to deal with Google. I understand this, but think about it from this side, okay? Leaving you with this. The harder it is to deal with Google, the more your competitors who are short-tempered, short-fused, aren't gonna wanna deal with Google. The people who are making good money from it are gonna you know, run through uh, barricades to, to do what Google wants. The small guy who has, hasn't had success with Google yet, he may just say, F it, I'm not doing it. So that's less competition for you. It's just like what I say on other videos where I say, yes, it takes a few months usually to get really, you know, to get baseline profitable results on Google ads, no matter how good your ads are set up. But 
if it were to where you could make it work in one day, don't you think all of your competitors, even the tiny, tiny guys with like a guy in a truck or whatever, would be competing with you? Yes, they would. So, and anything that's worth it, something in life isn't sim that simple. So once you actually are profitable, 90% of the people don't wanna go through the bullshit in the beginning to get it, your ads running, collect data enough to the algorithm favors your ads so you get the right traffic and the you know, right customers out of it, which is basically what happens. This is just another one of those things. If they were trying to make it work and then they were hit with the verification and they can't get the documents to work, they'd give up. It's just in business ex with ads, running ads on Google, running ads online, you gotta treat this like as if your life depends on it because there's gonna be frustration after frustration with it. On the other side, there's millions of dollars. Of course, it's not gonna be easy. If you go through it like your life depends on it, like if you don't get this, these ads to work, you're gonna physically die, you're gonna have success with, the, with running ads. The people, the 90% of people who try to run ads and don't make it work, they're in with the mentality that they want to get rich quick. That's two different sides of the, the, of the spectrum. And if you don't want to be on the 90% who never make money from ads, think short term and you're, and you're certainly will be there. And, and if you're, that's all you're going to do, you might as well not even waste your time on it because a little bit of effort is just going to piss you know, your money away at the beginning and you're not going to, there's no point. If you invest money knowing that no matter what you're going to do what it takes to figure out what makes the ads work, that money is always going to pay off. It's just a matter of when, not if, but when. If you set up, when we're talking about Google ads, your ads to be better than your competition, higher click-through rate than your competition currently advertising, higher conversion rate than other, your other competition currently advertising on Google ads, you will be Google's favorite. They'll charge you way less per click. We're talking like five times less. They're going to give you the best traffic because they give the shitty traffic to the person who's starting out that's going to be in and out in two months. And you're going to make tons of money. So are you going to go into it not just trying to show up because that doesn't work anymore to beat the competition and then if so you're going to crush it or are you not because this middle ground shit doesn't cut the mustard anymore. It just doesn't. So either going all the way, 20% of people that are advertising that you see really are making money and they're making most of the money. So either being the 20% or you would not be nothing. So with that said, I'll wrap it up with that though, um, for sure this time. If you have any questions about anything I said today, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. Uh, you can ask me any ad related question. I'd be more than happy to try to help out as a way of giving back for just watching the channel. Beyond that, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate giving it a like and consider subscribing. This channel has the best information you're going to find on actually making money with online advertising on YouTube as well as online. And, not be, and I'm not being arrogant by saying that because I run an ad agency, I have a few dozen clients, I'm telling you exactly what works and what doesn't work on this channel and I'm not just some guy with a YouTube channel. As a result, therefore the information is valid. Okay? I've been running ads for 15 years. So it's, this, it's uh, right down and I'm in the trenches doing this stuff and I'm telling you what works and what doesn't work on this channel. You're not going to find that on, the, on other channels. Um, work, you know, the other channels might make it seem easy what you need to do, but that's not the reality. It's easy to do if you just follow the instructions. It's just not going to take a little bit of effort most of the time, like I was talking about earlier. Anyway, you should subscribe if you really want to really know what it takes to make uh, your ads to make money online for your business. And then furthermore, if you like my channel, I also have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog which, with my written work, which is even better than the content that I have on my channel. So if you like my channel, you'll also like my written work. I also have a column at entrepreneur.com that you can follow. Beyond that, like I mentioned before, we run an ad agency, we provide guaranteed results on their ad campaigns. That is, whatever you're doing now with your ads, we'll promise to get you that plus a certain minimum amount more than what you have before taking fees. The only catch is, is we gotta really like what you're doing and know we can get great results with it. But if you wanna see if we can get your results on for free, no catch there, up front before you have to necessarily pay us anything, you should reach out, guaranteeppc.com. We'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you about what you're doing and see how much sales we can get you on top of what you already have. Or if you're just starting out, like what the potential is 
sometimes we can actually get you up and off the ground initially with a new campaign. But uh, anyway, reach out to me if you're interested um, in better results on a guaranteed basis, which nobody's offering that in our entire ad space. As a side, if you don't want to work with an ad agency, which a lot of you guys watching don't, we have templates that work for a number of different industries. That is, if you're in the plumbing space, don't waste your time building out campaigns that work in your market. I've already got the campaigns that work in that market, including the landing pages, and you can literally copy and paste the success we're having in that market to your own ad accounts and shortcut your way through all the BS, money and time spent to figure out what works the best in that market. I've got over a hundred different markets that we've worked in, of which we can sell you the templates in those markets. So you can you know, shortcut your way to success in the market that you're in, or if you, we've got a lot of people starting other businesses with this. They wanted to get into e-commerce. The smartest way to do that would be to start with our templated campaign that works for a certain product that you can easily source in China or whatever, or vice versa, like services. You can start a lead generation business with the template that we have that works for a certain market and sell leads. Uh, anyway, if you're interested in that, reach out to me as well. GuaranteePPC.com will tell you what results we've got in, in the markets we've gotten results in and what you know markets we have results in as well, if you're interested. But I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you on my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.